I would say so far there are three major verticals uh, in Europe. Uh, I would say uh, we, we clearly are very uh, comfortable about that because we have 12 affiliates in Europe. And it's about the fleet management, of course, as you can imagine, there is a fuel saving uh, at stake. There's a point of sales, all about the security, which comes from a mature market, but with, I would say, a cable uh, market, ADSL or RTC. And now there is, a, I would say, a natural switch to a wireless connectivity. And the last one is about security, especially for uh, household, for houses and uh, stuff like that. So clearly, these, these are the most mature. They represent, uh, I would say, two thirds of the existing uh, European market. But we see a new wave of uh, connected devices, uh, especially about uh, home automation, uh, which, which can imply uh, smart metering, about e-health also, because we know that uh, uh, government are facing uh, financial issues regarding uh, social care and so on. So we know that for chronic disease, uh, we can't continue like that. So we have to find a new business model. And also uh, regarding, I would say, all about connected devices, like for instance, the e-book, where you will have dedicated new uh, consumer devices, but not through, uh, I would say, classical tariff plan. You're right. In fact, I wrote a book just to explain that uh, with the global warming, everybody is uh, talking maybe about less. We have to less to reduce our consumption, to reduce our travel, and so on. But we know that there is uh, already in place this technology, the machine to machine or the Internet of Things, that can offer solution to lower, I would say, our global consumption. And of course, Orange is a great actor in that area, especially for. Uh, the, the, all about, I would say, uh, smart metering, uh, but not only, also about smart cities. We have won some uh, large uh, RFQ uh, in the IMEA market in, uh, in uh, Dubai, for instance. Uh, and we have also about, in France, a, a great pilot with some partnership, like uh, Veolia in the water metering or plastic omnium in the trash retreatment. This is, I would say, the first step toward a, a general and a massive approach. Uh, but clearly, we, we are going in that direction and we are supporting uh, all these initiatives. But clearly, uh, the SIM card is the key uh, element in the connectivity. Probably, I would say, it's the last mile when you have to build an M2M -M solution. But nevertheless, it remains the most critical uh, uh, element because without that, without security, you may face a uh, big issue. And especially regarding the security, uh, we are working to put more features on the SIM card because uh, the M2M -M customers don't want to go through a hotline when something is wrong. They, have to, they need to have uh, remote access to their uh, install base. Uh, some of our customers are more than uh, 100,000 of SIM cards. So they need to have all of this. And of, of course, you can't provide something without security. For instance, in smart metering, when you have a nuclear plant behind, uh, you can imagine uh, very easily that uh, it's not possible to make everything over the air. Despite there is some work in progress to see how we can do in that direction, I would say so far, the SIM, the SIM is the most secure element uh, uh, to, to, I would say, to roll out uh, M2M solution. I would say it comes from the fact that uh, with machine to machine, uh, the machines are moving, which, which means that some of them will go out your, uh, your local uh, coverage. And in that case, you can't answer to the customers because it's uh, on the hosting uh, networks. I don't know what may happen. And this is not acceptable. So it's why we have started to, uh, to discuss uh, one year ago with Dutch Telecom to create a kind of interoperability uh, framework uh, agreement. And uh, this is, I would say, the only beginning of the story because first we believe that we have to extend, expand to other carriers because we want to have the full coverage in Europe. And secondly, we will add more stream about features, API, again, to offer the, a seamless experience to the customer. Uh, it's not possible to don't have the maximum interoperability. And again, the main difference with the classical telco, uh, I would say, business is the fact that when something is not working, the machine will not uh, call the hotline. So it's why you have to change the way you, you approach this market.
Uh, I was quite surprised, honestly. Uh, I, I attend a lot of M2M events uh, in Europe uh, since I have uh, I have uh, taken the position within a range, and it is one of the biggest I've already seen. Um, probably comparable with uh, the, the events happened last uh, last year. Uh, in, in Shanghai about the Internet of Things. So clearly, I would say it's a great signal. And uh, for the first time, maybe, I clearly see a great appetite for machine-to-machine, -machine, which reflects, in fact, the amazing growth register on the past years.